Hello photography fans and welcome back to another Lensvid review. Today we're taking a look at the Lightbeck H25 fluid head. Let's see what it can do. Lightbeck is a Japanese company that has been around since the 1950s. Lately they've been focusing not only on tripods and heads, but also professional camera support including pedestals, jibs, sliders and even some electronically controlled products. The H25 is one of four heads in the H series providing from 5 to 12 kilos of payload and a compact factor with counterbalancing and versatile add-ons. The H25 weighs 2.5 kilos and is 17 centimeters tall. It comes in a full metal construction with plastic ratchets and plate lock. It's a dual tone design with a silver base and counterbalance knob on a black body with branding on the side and the front. The telescoping handle extends to 55 centimeters. It feels solid and attaches to a rosette on either side of the head. Lightbeck includes a short release plate with this head, but it's also compatible with Manfrotto style 500 long plates. The release plate is designed to pop back in in a one-handed operation. There are stoppers to prevent the plate from sliding out when the lock is not tightened. Underneath the plate, Lightbeck included two spare screws securely stashed for emergency use. The head features tilt and pan locks and drag controls and a tension meter below the balance knob. Both the bubble and the tension meter are illuminated for an easier use in the dark. On the bottom of the front of the head there are two accessory mounts. These are positioned in a way to not interfere with the balancing of the payload. It's a great idea but the mounts come with no locating pins which we feel should be standard by now. One of the prominent features of the H25 head is the dual mount design. It's compatible with 75mm bowl tripods and flat base tripods. The H25 is designed to work with medium sized camera setups. The minimum payload for this counterbalance to work properly is 1.7 kilos. But we found that the sweet spot for counterbalancing on the H25 is actually closer to 3 kilos. For lighter setups, the counterbalancing is a little too strong and it will slowly drift at extreme angles. In order to set the counterbalance, start with the tilt drag set at zero and center the camera on the base. For a minimal weight setup, turn the drag setting to three. Turning the balance knob adds more pull force so it's only needed for a heavier setup. For example, this three kilo setup can be balanced at the zero drag setting but with 40 pull. At four kilos, the pull setting needs to increase to about 70. In conclusion, in our experience with the H25 head, we found it to provide very fluid movement. Once you get used to the locks and the counterbalancing, it's pretty straightforward. For most of our setups though, this is a little too much. Thankfully, Lightbeck has the H15 head that can balance a setup as little as 800 grams. As for pricing, the H25 head from Lightbeck sells for $760. And that is it for our look at the H25 fluid head by Lightbeck. Go check out the full review on our website at lensvid.com. Subscribe to this channel and come back for more videos. We'll see you in the next one.